Resale Rabbit here. It is the day after Christmas and I'm buying out another store. Uh, they want me to take a whole bunch of dress barn locations, but it's the day after Christmas. I can't really get people to work on their day off. So as of now, we're getting three. Might possibly get a fourth. Uh, the deal we worked is two and a half percent. They literally called me Christmas Eve and asked if I wanted them two days ago. So we've got a few hours to go, but I want to see what this store looks like because I'm not doing this store. I'm sending someone to this store. And this is the one right in town here. So I'm at JCPenney next door shopping with my girlfriend and I got a message from a buddy of mine who's buying out dress barns in the Las Vegas area. He said they offered him a dollar per piece. Now you saw two and a half percent is going to be a lot more than a dollar on those price points. So I offered it. I'm working with the regional director on this project and uh, I said, hey, can we do a dollar per piece? No hesitation. He said, absolutely. So I am currently getting three stores. If I have time, I'm going to get a fourth one. And it's only going to be a buck a piece. That I'm excited about that. I'm at the Outlet Mall in Oshkosh. About an hour or so outside of town. I gave cash to my employees who are taking the other two stores. I'm taking this one. And if I have time, I'm cutting across the state to Kohler to get another one. First, got to find the bathroom. Ah, I feel 10 pounds lighter. All right, let's go in. All right, just touched base with the store manager. I told her uh, we're ready to go when she is. So she announced that store is now closed. You're going to make your final purchases. And uh, I told her we'll get you out of here as quickly as we can. First, I need to get these bins. Very nice uh, little addition from Office Depot when we bought them out. So we can, uh, sorry, my tailgate locks, so we can load them up. So what we're doing now is just looking around the store to see if anything got missed. I shoved everything up in the front by the cashiers and they're going through all of that. Place to look is dressing rooms. So these are nice. This is mounted to the wall though. So we're looking, making sure there's no clothes in here. Honestly, these would be nice to, to take one. Here we go. So we're just kind of looking through here, checking for everything. There's still a few customers left in the store. Now, normally I've got a trailer with me. So what we'll do is just leave it all on hangers on racks. That one's locked. Can you see if there's anything in there? No, it doesn't look like it. All right. Normally we uh, just wheel them right on the trailer, but I have a buyer for these already. So they're just gonna get shipped out. So we would dehanger them anyways. And that looks like it is it. All right, we're all strapped down here. Filled up almost all the bins, 200 and what was it? $288, uh, so about 288 units. So there are four days left here at Motherhood Maternity. I'm just going in to check on stock levels and prices and whatnot. Nice little hour long drive to this one. I'm told this store has pretty low stock, but uh, we're gonna go in and clear this one out too. not a lot in this store i uh, just grabbed the key and checked dressing rooms It'd be nice if they had some of this some of the signage up here It'd be nice if something said dress barn but um well there's this giant one that might be a little big for me though so we're just looking for any inventory that's been left around here doesn't look like it. All that's really left is back room. We'll be good to go. Oh, 
done. I couldn't film much because I was rushing. Uh, 182 items, including a mismatched pair of shoes. Um, we've got one more store, I guess. They want us to go to West Alice. Is that the store? I don't know. West Bend, that's what it is. So we've got one more store to hit. Uh, Green Bay is done. I had someone take care of that one and Rothschild is done. I sent someone five hours of work I paid him for. There were 46 items there, but he only paid 50 cents each. I'm not entirely sure why they did that. All of these stores were supposed to have 1,000 to 1,500 items. The liquidation company decided to say, hey, we're gonna sell it a dollar each to the public. I'm not thrilled about that because I should have, what I get here, five stores. I should have five to five to 8,000 pieces here. Uh, it's gonna be less than a thousand. Uh, not thrilled about that. I'm gonna have to have a talk with the liquidation company about that. It's funny because I was originally paying two and a half percent. That's what I agreed to. They would have gotten more if there was just sold to me for two and a half percent instead of to the public and me for a buck. So anyways, getting this stuff loaded up, and we'll be on to the next one. And here's both stores. We got one more to go, plus the two that my people cleared out. Final store, we are at West Bend. Let's see what we've got in here. Hi. Hello. Looking for the manager? That's me, today. I'm John with JL on Distributing on the Empire. Oh, awesome. You want what's left? Yep. All right. <laughs> A little late. This is my third store of the day, and they kind of sprung this on me this morning. Oh, you, oh that would have been awesome if you were here this morning. Like eight hundred. I know. Yeah. Right? And now we only no one told us that everything was going to a dollar each. We, we didn't know until this morning. Yeah. So. Oh, we didn't know until ten. Because our agreed, our agreed price was two and a half percent of whatever's left in the store, which is more than a dollar each. Mm. Sorry. And that is it. Forty seven pieces something like that but we did go 50 cents each on them so that helped that was incredibly cheap so here's what we're working with we've got these uh what 13 bins here full this is the Kohler and Oshkosh store then we'll take a walk over here I'm still walking this cart is also partially Kohler and uh West Bend I even got a nice Recycling bin, it says recycling on the side of there, you can kind of see it. Uh, so those are the three I hit. <clears throat> Rothschild, which had barely anything, is these three boxes here, not a whole lot. And then this was the Green Bay store, that one was huge. This laundry cart is full, this bin is full. It was, I think, like 579 units in that store. I'm told there are a lot of nice jackets and whatnot as well. I haven't looked at any of them, but I'm gonna get some sweaters and should be some decent stuff in here. I also got, you know, let's walk over here. Here's my shrine. These are stores that I've cleared out. I always like to try and get some sort of signage or something for them. Got my dress bar and sign up. That was actually a poster hanging in the bathroom, the employee bathroom. However, I got three of these frames for free. And I use them just to go over the boxes and strap them down so they don't flip open. The poster fits perfectly on it, so I'm guessing it was originally in one of those, and they just, when they reset, they get rid of it. So now that goes on my list. I couldn't, I can't get signage from every single store. Sometimes they won't let me buy or have any. Sometimes they don't have any available. But I try to get something to go on my shrine of uh, retailers that I've bought out. So I've got some totals. I'm gonna take a walk over to my office where I've got them written down. By the way, I try to get you more footage in the stores. I know when I do these videos, I get busy, so I don't get to do a lot of footage in the stores. People ask for that. So I got a total of 1,161 units. Cost me $1,109. There were some two, the two small stores, we ended up going 50 cents per unit. And then there were a couple other things, some pantyhose that I just bought at 90% off, uh, rather than a dollar per unit, because the 350 is the, uh, Retail, it ended up being 35 cents each. Um, so with this, I've mentioned this in other videos, when you're an end buyer, you have to buy everything. Damaged, a stained, broken, missing pieces. I did get one pair of mismatched shoes. Uh, you have to buy everything. Now, given the fact that I bought it at the same rate that the public would have gotten it at, 
Um, I easily could have said, you know what, I'm just going to pick and choose what I want and not take it all. But here's the thing. These, this big liquidation company, um, they keep files on their end buyers on whether or not they were easy to deal with and whatnot. I don't want to be known as get a bad reputation as the guy who doesn't stick to his word. So when I said I was going to buy out the whole place, even though they kind of screwed us on the deal, I still bought out the whole place. Damaged stuff, depending on how badly it's damaged, maybe we'll sell it, maybe we'll donate it, maybe we'll throw it away. You know, if it's stained really bad, maybe we can donate it to someone who can use it as an undershirt or something or use it as shop rags. I don't know. I try not to throw things away, but um, you know, I'm not going to go and spend hours trying to find someone who will take one broken piece of clothing. Um, all the other stuff is going to be sold off. Uh, I haven't decided if we're going to, I'm going to have my new eBay employee, who's my full-time eBay lister, if I'm going to have him listed all on eBay or if I'm going to have him... Um, or if we're just going to liquidate it, uh, 1,161 items. He should be able to get that listed in maybe a week, week and a half, uh, depending on how deep we're in each skew. There was some nice stuff in there. Gloria Vanderbilt. I've done really well with that brand in the past. I don't know. I'm told that they've really dropped in value after Shopco closed, but I think Costco picked them up or something. We'll find out. Uh, what else? So the whole thing where... I don't know how much I mentioned earlier in the video, but what happened was that I had an agreement with the liquidation company at two and a half percent of retail for everything. Um, that's pretty standard. They normally will go 90% off for the general public. And then sometimes they'll do 95% off before I come in. A lot of people might say, well, 95% off to 92 and a half or 97 and a half percent off. That's only two and a half percent. Is it really worth it to not go in early? You remember that's half. So if I'd go and spend a thousand on a store, if I bought it ninety five percent, it would cost me two thousand. So it seems like you're splitting hairs, but it really isn't. Even an extra half percent uh, can is from ninety eight percent off to ninety seven and a half percent off is twenty five percent increase. Um, you know, a store where I spend a thousand dollars now is you know twelve hundred and fifty. What upsets me is that they basically gave the public a lower rate than our agreement was. Now, they gave me that price, too, but they didn't communicate that. These stores were selling five to 700 pieces per hour before we got in there. I basically paid an employee, and these numbers that I mentioned does not co cover payroll, but I paid an employee six hours to drive all the way up to Rothschild and back during his vacation, and um, I got 46 pieces. For twenty three out, it just wasn't worth it. Plus his gas and everything, I had to cover that. It just, I was very upset about that. I don't know if it was the liquidation company that made that decision or if it was Dress Barn. Nonetheless, very poor communication because I found out this decision was sent to stores at ten thirty a.m. We were getting in there at two, so they definitely had plenty of time to uh, reach out to us and let us know about that. But at the end of the day, you can't sit there and, and fret on the on the bad stuff. I did still get. Over 1,100 pieces of clothing for averaging about a buck each, a little under a buck each. A lot of these are 50 to $75 retail. We're gonna do really well with it. Uh, let me take out my calculator here. Uh, 1,161. If I were to say average five bucks, that's it, just $5 after shipping, fees, payroll, and everything on eBay, that's almost six grand. So, and a lot of this stuff, I did look up the brand. There's a lot of this stuff going for 30 bucks where I'm going to make more than five. I'm sure this could be also things that aren't worth anything that I'm going to be liquidating for, you know, a buck or two each um, through JLM. That's not going on eBay. But anyways, the other issue with them dropping it to a dollar for the public is I'm going to have a lot more competition on eBay with this stuff, which is why I'm more inclined to either sell it in one of our warehouse sales or sell it off in bulk to someone who will do a flea market or a retail store or something with it. Um, it's just, you know, if the market gets flooded because the general public, everyone goes in and buys 20 pieces of clothing for a dollar each, you're going to have a lot more competition. We'll see how things go as uh, the next week or two. It's not going to get listed right away because we've got a couple pallets of stuff that my eBay guy needs to take care of first. But um, it was definitely a winner. Now, it is currently, what, Friday? It was yesterday, Thursday? Okay, I have, it's Christmas break. I don't, days of the week are irrelevant. Every day is Saturday. It is currently Friday. In two days will be Sunday, and I will have 
We're working on a deal right now in a store called Riley Rose. It's very high end, well, not very high end, but high end cosmetics, $30 to $60 retail prices. Um, it's basically going into a Sephora, if you're familiar with them. So we've got that store that we might be getting. And then um, along with that, we're getting potentially four Forever 21 stores. So we'll be clearing those out. And then on Monday, we've got two motherhood maternity stores. You saw one in this video earlier. That's one of them. And then there's another one in Green Bay here. Uh, so we're keeping busy. I did miss out on a store called Kitchen Collection. Just didn't have time to get to it with the holidays and everything. All these stores are kind of closing at the same time, which I hate. But... Uh, should have some interesting stuff coming out. I'm excited for motherhood maternity because it looks like some pretty high end or pretty pricey stuff. I haven't looked up comps online, but you know, I saw prices in there 200 for one piece of clothing. Uh, and my costs, I'm gonna try and get it 2% times 0 0.02 is four bucks. I know I could have done that in my head, but I didn't want to. So anyways, that's this video. Uh, five dress barns I ended up getting. Um, Probably could have got more, but towards the end when they were doing the stupid sale to the public, I don't really want to be driving another hour or two to more stores, to each store to get 40 units. So that's where we're at. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.